First at 11, though, women preyed on through a popular app, engagement rings, jewelry, swiped from their hands. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Tonight, cases where women thought they were selling something to another woman, but ended up getting robbed by a man. New 6's Troy Campbell is live outside the Altamont Springs Police Department tonight. And Troy, police say the suspect lured his victims to the same area. That's right. Investigators here in Altamont Springs, they say the 21 year old suspect, he actually had those uh, his victims meet him at an apartment complex that was about a half a mile from where he actually lived. But the victims, they say they knew something was wrong when a man started approaching their vehicle instead of the woman they intended to sell the jewelry to. Is this someone that you've ever seen in this area? Nope. Never. Yvonne Dehaney says she's lived at her apartment complex on the 500 block of Calibre Crest Parkway in Altamont Springs for three years and says this booking photo is the first time she's ever seen 21 year old Khalid Colton. Detectives say Colton started his crime spree in October after responding to an ad for jewelry for sale on the app Let Go. The victim told investigators the suspect forcefully grabbed his necklace and left without payment. Then on March 13th, a woman says she posted four rings for sale on Let Go and arranged to meet who she thought was a woman and her boyfriend. The victim telling police she handed the subject the rings and the male fled on foot westbound without paying. You work very hard for what you have, you know, I mean, and it's unfair for somebody to just walk in and just take it away from you. You know, it's not right. Last Thursday, another woman says she was selling a set of rings, also on Let Go, thinking she was showing up to meet a woman and even brought her friend with her. The victim told police instead a man approached the car, grabbed the rings from her and threw a bundle of cash into the vehicle. Investigators say the money was counted, totaling $2,200 of fake money with Chinese print on the sides of it. That's amazing because you're right here and you don't know what's going on. Altamont Springs police say that Colton actually admitted to all three of those robberies. Also, there are some things you can do to prevent becoming a victim. For example, right here in Altamont Springs, police say that if you plan to sell something to a stranger, you can show up right here to this parking lot. You can request an officer actually come outside and they'll oversee your entire transaction. Live in Altamont Springs tonight, Troy Campbell getting results, News 6.